Everybody, I'm local storm team meteorologist Chase Arnold with a look at the forecast where you live and we're going to be talking a fairly mild forecast heading into our Tuesday. Let's start off Tuesday, uh, Monday night across eastern Arkansas. You can see mostly cloudy skies in the forecast. Upper 40s across northeast Arkansas, including areas like Truman, Blyville, uh, low 50s as you get closer to the Delta, 51 your overnight low in West Helena. A little warmer across northern Mississippi, staying cloudy as you can see low to possibly mid 50s for a few of us. 52 that overnight low South Haven and Holly Springs, 53 your overnight low Clarksdale and Corinth. Across western Tennessee, once again, staying cloudy. Temperatures low 50s, maybe some upper 40s as you get up by Dyersburg, Ripley, but uh, overall a mild start to your Tuesday. As we look ahead to the day tomorrow, you can see sunny skies back for the afternoon. Uh, upper 50s to low 60s for many of us. You can see 62 that afternoon high. West Memphis also in West Helena. Mild as well across northern Mississippi. Afternoon highs uh, around 63 in Clarksdale and Batesville. 62 your afternoon high Oxford and Holly Springs. As for western Tennessee, you can see uh, maybe a little cooler to our north. 59 your afternoon high in Dyersburg and Alamo. 61 your high in Jackson. And 62 your high in Memphis. Now we do have a cold front rolling through on Tuesday. Won't bring any rain, but certainly going to drop those temperatures by Wednesday. We're back down into the mid 40s. And then Wednesday night looks like we could fall into the 20s for lows. Temperatures will remain pretty consistent after that. You can see a low to mid 40s into the end of the work week with overnight lows into the mid 30s. Next good chance for rain Friday night and into Saturday. At this point, not anticipating any winter weather, although it is going to be some cold rain and then clearing out as we get into early next week. Just a reminder for more on that forecast, make sure to stay logged on to localmemphis.com.